families are worse off, our communities are less safe, and our country is less secure. That was Senator Mom and Stepford wife Katie Britt delivering the Republican Party's propaganda manifesto in response to President Biden's recent State of the Union address. Britt's reply was delivered from the kitchen of her Alabama home, presumably so she could be near her 14 children. That's right, she has 14 kids. Well, 12 of them were sleeping in ice cube trays in her freezer. Now, Britt's portrayal of a frightened yet defiant bipolar Christian soccer mom struggling to survive in a dystopian democratic hell space was so bizarre, her own colleagues even called it creepy. It even earned her recognition at this year's Academy Awards. Here are the nominees for actress in a lying role. Kaylee McEnany on the southern border. History will not look kindly on a Democrat president that unleashed unprecedented waves of illegal immigrant immigration across our border. Lauren Boebert on the separation of church and state. The church is supposed to direct the government. The government is not supposed to direct the church. Nancy Mace on asylum seekers. This bill keeps the border wide open, but it lowers the standard for those that are seeking asylum. They say no new asylum claims would be allowed. Anybody crossing would be removed. Marjorie Taylor Greene on dead voters in Georgia. For you to say there were no dead voters in Georgia, no, that no, is, no. That is, there, was, there was thousands of dead voters in Georgia. Yes, and then, Katie Britt on a woman raped by the cartel but blaming Biden even though it was 20 years ago while a Republican was president and not on American soil. I spoke to a woman who shared her story with me. She had been sex trafficked by the cartels. The cartels put her on a mattress and they sent men through that door over and over again. We wouldn't be okay with this happening in a third world country. The Oscar goes to Katie but Britt. Despite the current state of our union, our best days are still ahead. So Meryl Creep is one of the new breed of Republican politicians whose sole purpose is to do absolutely nothing blame Democrats for their inactivity, and collect a big fat paycheck off the backs of American taxpayers. But not on my watch. Her speech was a master class in hypocritical histrionics and MAGA gaslighting, and was so full of lies that I need to address a few. And then we'll have some fun as I offer an edited version that's much more truthful. And if you like what you're seeing, please like and subscribe. And if you can afford to throw a buck or shilling or peso into my virtual tip jar, it helps keep this show and democracy alive. So Brit stuck to the MAGA playbook. The border problem's Biden's fault, he's too old, and yada yada yada. But the problem was it was written before Biden's address, and what they didn't anticipate was Smoke and Joe hopped up on Centrum Silver and delivering a scorched earth MAGA beatdown, which made her response look, well, you tell him, Ben. Here, play this clip. She was brutally murdered by one of the millions of illegal border crossers President Biden chose to release into our homeland. Innocent Americans are dying, and you only have yourself to blame. Liar! Liar! She was one of the U.S. senators who was involved in the bipartisan negotiations Correct. to create a border bill. Um, and she helped create the bill and then voted against it when Donald Trump called on Republicans to pull the plug on the bill that they themselves had negotiated. President Biden has failed. And the enemies of freedom, they see an opportunity. Putin's brutal aggression in Europe has put our allies on the brink. One of the presidents of a big country stood up and said, well, sir, uh, if we don't pay and we're attacked by Russia, Will you protect us? I said, no, I would not protect you. In fact, I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. We have the worst inflation in 40 years. The January Consumer Price Index report shows prices rose 3.1%. That increase is down from the 3.4% increase seen in December. Inflation has come down two thirds from its peak. That certainly is good news for American families. Year over year, inflation in January was lower than the year over year rate in December and the highest credit card debt in our nation's history. Let that sink in. 
Today, President Joe Biden announced Lee charges would be capped at $8, down from about 32 I was struggling to pay them, so the late fees were piling up. Sample pays $30 every time she is late on a payment. If you tell me $8, $8 is a happy meal. That's, that's something that you can catch up on. A lower late fee will help you pay your credit cards down faster. So here's the truth. This is today's Republican Party hiding behind their crosses and flags and fake patriotism while shamelessly lying to your face. So here's Katie's speech with the lies removed. Are we as Republicans going to have press conferences and complain the border's bad and then intentionally leave it open after the worst month in American history in December? Border policies are a disgrace. From fentanyl poisonings to horrific murders, there are empty chairs tonight at kitchen tables just like this one because of the Republican Party. Former President Trump has indicated to senators that uh, he does not want us to solve the problem at the border. Uh, he wants to lay the blame for the border at Biden. Uh, and the idea that, that someone running for president would say, please hurt the country so I can blame my opponent and help my politics is a... Uh, uh, a shocking uh, uh, development. Just think about Lake and Riley, this beautiful 22-year-old nursing student. She was brutally murdered by one of the millions of illegal border crossers the Republican Party chose to release into our homeland. Senator Langford and his colleagues, you know, worked hard to negotiate something, and now Republicans, uh, many of them, including yourself, are shutting it down. So what do you say to the American people about that? We are the party steeped in the blood of your kids and your grandkids. This bill focuses on getting us to zero illegal crossings a day. There's no amnesty. It increases the number of Border Patrol agents. It increases asylum officers. It increases detention beds so we can quickly detain and then deport individuals. It ends catch and release. It focuses on additional deportation flights out. It changes our asylum process so that people get a fast asylum screening at a higher standard and then get returned back to their home country. Enough is enough. Innocent Americans are dying, and you only have the Republican Party to blame. I spoke to a woman who shared her story with me. She had been sex trafficked starting at the age of 12, and they sent men through that door over and over again for hours and hours on end. The free world deserves better than a dithering and diminished leader. Saudi Arabia and Russia will repeat your uh, will repeat your uh. In Venezuela. Venezuela. <laughs> and let me begin by wishing you a beautiful I'd look. Beautiful I'd look. So for the sake of democracy, we need to be vigilant and call out these Republicans who lie and give credit to those Democrats who are the ones struggling, struggling to keep our government functioning. Now, considering the staggering number of their lies, this might seem an overwhelming task, but don't give up because here's Katie in her own words, giving us the inspiration we all need. The truth is we're all worried about the future of our nation, but here's the good news. Under his administration, our future starts around President Biden. Secure borders, stable prices, safe streets, and a strong defense. The cornerstones of President Biden. Our best days are still ahead.